What is going on YouTube? This is going to be just a quick patch note video as they're going to be releasing a new patch coming up on somewhere between the 18th and the 20th. Uh, usually that when that ends up working is it's anywhere from Monday to Wednesday or so uh, depending on you know how the update's going, is there a bug that list needs to fix last second, etc. Uh, regardless, it's going to be 9.06 and we are getting a new unit, which is always awesome. Uh, some quick housekeeping news updates. Uh, July Nova Cup signups are live, as well as if you missed it, Lisk did do a Reddit AMA last week. Uh, a lot of really good information in there. Talks about, you know, where Lisk uh, started out, a bunch of different things about Warcraft, um, and it, just a ton of stuff. Lisk did an awesome job of just uh, communicating with, the, with people on Reddit there. So into the new unit. It's going to be a tier four, so its base cost is 130. It's a tank mana user. It does melee, pierce, arcane. It has about 1600 health and about 23 DPS at start. Now, I don't know what that all entails in terms of like comparisons to other tier fours. That being said, it does kind of have a interesting setup. It seems to me like it's a mix of badger and cat combined with mask for its ultimate ability. So she's going to be, I think, a little interesting at least at first. Uh, she is a three-stage upgrade. So it's 130, 100, and then 100. So it ends up being a 330 cost in total. Um, 100 gold to upgrade is actually, honestly, not that much. Uh, considering it's a tier four, I think this will be nice in terms of the fact that we're allowed to kind of utilize her in the early mid-game. I think seven, eight, should be the thing of a past like they shouldn't be nearly as as oppressive to some people i think if you can get one of these down they should basically cover you 7 8 14 pretty easily uh so that's going to be kind of neat we'll see though how it goes i'm not gonna you know jinx it and say it's like the best unit ever but i, I think it's going to be interesting um i do like the overall design of the cards and and the unit in general it looks very neat um they are going to have a new background available which is going to be an animated background that's just the sovereign um, looks kind of neat um, i've been kind of peeping into the game files and i did see that recently so i expected it to eventually launch but it's nice to see that it will be an animated background uh, looks very very nice there's gonna be two new skins uh kind of going with the theme i've been noticing that they've been doing um kind of a a fire theme and then an underworld theme we get a hellfire poda priest of the abyss and then a sovereign of death which kind of takes sovereign from an angelic looking unit to a um, more of a reaper style i really like sovereign's new skin um, i think this is going to be probably one of my favorite skins that being said i still don't really like sovereign so you know that all can be what it is so some major improvements you can now pause versus ai um Game Coach has got some more variety. Card Trader now has some um, more voice line, or has voice lines now, I should say, as well as uh, it yells at you when you idle around in the shop, etc. So we've got an updated features page, a game manual, and leaderboard added to the website. So it looks like you'll be able to go right to Legion's website to check leaderboard stats rather than going out to like LTD stats or something of the sort. You've got uh, Lithuanian added now as an official language. So if you uh, speak Lithuanian natively, your native tongue is now a language option. Um, animated UI backgrounds and such will show when in the shop. Um, game coach tip changes, new player mechanics, uh, work works achievement was changed. That being said, uh, nothing too, too crazy. There's going to be some minor bug fixes, etc. Um, some API changes as well. So it looks like you'll be able to track fighter stacks per round. General balance changes for King. Looks like they're trying to make it so that your small leaks hurt more and large leaks hurt less. Um, which I don't dislike. I think currently large leaks can just decimate you in an all-in send whereas small pro leaks that are continuously getting to king sometimes just don't feel like they're doing anything um that being said i'm still getting back into the game so i don't have a whole whole lot of uh, sample size to, to go off of with the current king setup 
dual building has another AoE reduction. Um, so pyro nerf along with AoE build uh, nerf. So you're less likely to see pyro plus egg openers in classic in dual building. We're seeing a cartel, castle, cash out, and fiesta buff in this patch. Um, I think this is just going to increase their usability going into what it seems like tournament and ladder play. Um, I'm still very much a cash out gamer. So to me, the cash out buff is very helpful, very nice, um, as I think it will give you a little bit more of a percentage chance of getting that extra worker earlier while not being required to have a snail sent your way, etc. They're gonna be buffing counterattack, giant snails, um, which I both think are lackluster. Um, I, I really don't like either of these spells currently. Maybe Giant Snails is a little bit better now with 260 health. I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure exactly how that's going to differentiate it. Um, I still think Giant Snails suffer from the fact that a lot of a lot of games have AOE right now, and Giant Snails just isn't good into AOE. Period. Drop dead. They're worthless. You know. So we'll see how it goes. Um, I think Glacial Touch getting a nerf, it makes sense. People are goo goo gaga -ga over it. Um, it seems that Chloropixie now is going to be a little bit less valuable for the Mythium Harvest, but a little bit better for its attacks, right? So it's going to be a little bit more of a damage dealing unit that has a positive rather than just a sacrificial thing you throw on the side. Sakura getting a buff, I think, uh, is probably justified. She seems a little bad. And thus, you open with Sakura, but that being said, I think this kind of just falls in line to the Chloropixie buff as well. It makes it so that they're on the same attack speed. Uh, the moment you've all been waiting for, Pyro is getting a nerf. Attack speed is getting upped slightly, but the splash damage on flying waves is being returned. Um, so it's going to be worse on 4, 17... Is that, the, is that the only two flying waves? Anyway, uh, those two waves are for sure um, going to be harder than so pyro is not invincible one through five um, on wave four you're going to have a little bit of a problem um, potentially holding again so you know we might see might see huh, the downfall of pyro a little bit here we'll see what happens though uh, gargoyle green devil nerfs i think are justified they're really strong right now um i think they're still probably the best arcane tank in the game um so we'll kind of see what happens I do think the new Iron Maiden unit uh, will potentially open up a little bit more arcane value. I think the biggest issue with arcane is that there's really like two tanks. It's gargoyles and it's badgers. You can argue that cat exists, but I wouldn't consider it a tank. Um, it's more or less a damage dealer that also can tank early. Um, bug fix on Le Levy and Tempest so that they are doing their correct attack speeds. Uh, Serpent and Deep Coiler getting a slight health buff. Um, I think it might be justified right now. The only reason why you'd use a Serpent or Coiler is to basically snipe backline units. Um, and as it's saying here, they have a low win rate, pick rate. And so this might make them a little better. I honestly think Azeria being low win rate and pick rate is honestly because they're, she's a very bad unit if you don't have her tanking slightly. Um, her positioning is super important. And I think... I think at the end of the day, with Azuria, if you know how to position her and you have good supportive units, she's one of the strongest magic dealers in the game. But if you don't know how to position her and you just throw her in the back line, she's going to be very lackluster. So that being said, um, I think this is good for people who like to play Poda. I think this is good for people who like to play Azuria. Um, but for people who don't, they're probably still going to have a lackluster time with it. Um, okay, so now... Holy Avenger no longer with perfect three shots, wave four. Uh, so basically with cash out, it's not going to be as strong. Um, the health of Holy Avenger is getting a slight nerf. I wouldn't call it much, but um, I assume we'll see some of that damage carry over, if not regardless. Um, they are making a meme here, though, that they are giving it a super new cool skin, and then they're also nerfing it. So do as you will. <laughs> some minor bug fixes, uh, Soulgate, Hellgate, Gatling Gun, Pilgrim. Sea Dragon, etc. Pack Rat Bug. And then we're getting into some Mercenary nerfs. Um, we're going to have a slight nerf to Pack Leader. And I think this is probably 
better in the sense that it's going to make it so that it's more viable on like wave 10 for instance but worse on every other wave um, that being said it's tough for me because anything that buffs a large majority of units is still going to have a viability to it right but it is not going to be as strong at certain times that being said this is also due to the fact that they're changing some of the waves um, faster attack speed on 7 8 9 and 12 makes pack leaders stronger just in general because they attack quicker um, so I, I think it's justified for a couple different reasons mim uh, me, four eyes being nerfed um, I <sighs> Again, this one's tough for me because I feel like four eyes is only good into certain compositions, and it's a lot of people's just default click, click, click. That, that's just what I'm using. I think there are better mercenaries you can often send than a four eyes, unless someone's just straight like doppel with double healing and uh, you know antler buff and like craziness to it. Um, that being said, we'll kind of see what happens. Um, I think they've done a pretty good job of, of keeping um, keeping the mercenaries relatively balanced um, for a bit there you know brute was overpowered but then it got kind of drawed back and they've done a pretty good job uh we're gonna see whale chiefs get a little bit of a, of a buff these watermelons have for too long been completely worthless um and so for for most of my early legion gaming career career um whale chiefs was the wave to kill someone on on the later games um you went for whale chiefs because it was so incredibly strong at just bursting through whatever anybody had tanks aoe everything just destroyed it and then i feel like because of that they tried to increase the power of every other wave and slowly decrease whale chiefs and as always people knee jerk reaction and just completely go away from whale chiefs it's the worst unit, worst wave ever to send etc um but you know we'll kind of see and then down to help wanted. So uh, they're looking for somebody to create videos, memes, posts, etc., for social media. It would be a part-time position um, who knows game. It's looking for someone who knows the game well, has a good sense of humor and a strong sense of professionalism. If interested, apply below. So they just want you to make a couple memes, go to the contribute section, uh, link an Imager, Imig, Imger, Imger album, anyway, um, and then uh, submit it. And that's kind of it. So um, I will not lie. I did apply for this because uh, a couple people did let me know I should apply for it. Um, we'll see what happens if I do end up getting it. Obviously, I'll let you guys know on, on uh, stream or in, in YouTube. Um, who knows? If anybody is really good with Photoshop, really good with Premiere, even GIMP, Christ, anything that you can make memes in, anything you can do editing in, and you are very, very knowledgeable about Legion in general, apply it'd be a it'd be super cool to be able to uh to work in in it i think in a game that you love right so um if anybody is super dedicated and loves this game apply and they've had other things too it's not just this like that's what they really currently want but there are other positions that they might need help in um if you are somebody who does um know another language that is currently not supported and you want to help them do text translations they have a a, a a spot in there to uh, to let people know hey i want to help people translate um, english into i don't know any other language that you may know um, outside of that um, i guess closing remarks from them is that uh, humble bundle choice did increase the players they have a uh, ten thousand plus new players that joined um, so that's huge uh, that's a lot of people um, other than that make sure you're using creator codes um, so, you know, used code flight if you uh, purchase anything um, through, you know, through the store, if you purchase credits, etc. Um, use my Nexus store otherwise, link below. Um, outside of that, man, that's kind of it. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, drop it in their pu public Discord, which can be found in the link here, as well as in-game. Other than that, that's kind of does this video through. Um, I tried to be as quick as possible throughout this. Uh, that being said, there's a lot to talk about. Sometimes it's nice to kind of go over things. If you have questions for me personally, drop them in the comment section below in the video. Otherwise, make sure you like, subscribe, and uh, yeah, hit me up on, on Twitch. I stream every day uh, or near every day. And uh, you know, follow me on Twitter, join my Discord. That's kind of that. Thank you all for watching and peace out, guys.